Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth part tutorial on this series of how to model an iPhone. So um, after we um, fixed the issues on uh, part number four, uh, we have a few more uh, little details to add to this uh, model. Um, basically I hope that I don't have any problem with my mouse because it appears that... Uh, okay, so okay now okay let's um, create a cube uh, bring it over the side because uh, we are going to create the silent mode uh, switcher um, yeah it should look something like this um, actually it's even more thinner that uh, the buttons so make sure you do something like here yeah even more thinner so excuse me uh, alright let's bring it up over here and also maybe make it smaller Yeah, it should be quite small. So now we're going to bevel the edges also. Um, <clears throat> okay, add it to mesh and bevel them. Add more segments, uh, but don't touch the offset because it should. Uh, uh, look like more uh, as square and not like the upper button here which is very rounded okay uh, so less rounded but um, you should create a copy of this one okay so control D to duplicate it. Now I'm going to use the duplicated item in order to create the hole inside the iPhone, okay? Because I still need to uh, do some more adjustments to the to this piece with the segments because uh, this is how it goes. So um, the the original copy leave it. Uh, somewhere safe <clears throat> now <clears throat> let's turn on x-ray to see how much it's inside well it doesn't have to be that much somewhere here it's okay turn off the x-ray catch the iPhone and by the way um, should be a little bit upper somewhere here and somehow uh, it should be very small than uh, it is right now so I will scale them both at the same time so I don't uh, you know get confused later on on resizing it to fit it to this uh, hole I'm creating Okay, catch the iPhone, shift, select the piece, mesh, booleans, and difference. Yeah, it's quite big than it should be. So I will undo this, catch them both, make them thinner. Like so, and maybe we'll bring them up a little bit more. Um, as I can see it from my iPhone, it should be uh, above the screen, okay, so let's do this again, Boolean's difference, alright, that's good, um, now catch the piece and with the bully, uh, poly bevel, uh, make it more rounded. 
and bring it inside first let's use the scale tool to fit it to this hole and now when you are here um, you should uh, make it half size of the hole itself okay something like this and maybe with the offset uh, play a little bit uh, okay <clears throat> um, I will suggest you to catch the vertices and maybe uh, No, it's not good. Uh, you know what? Maybe leave it as it is. It's not. I think that's fine. Okay. Um, now, now we have uh, to create the camera. Okay, so therefore we will create. Uh, polygon cylinder let's shrink it and maybe bring it outside over here uh, also this time we are going to add more subdivision heights to it okay and remove the cap and now you can rotate it 90 degrees Okay, like so. Let's bring it up and let's move it somewhere here. Let's shrink it to about this size and The camera eye should be set in, you should place it like, um, you have to take, uh, to watch at this area and to see that the width is quite equal, like it's centered, okay, in this corner. Um, <clears throat> we will use the front to focus and see it better. You can tap on F to bring it to focus mode so it will focus on the object that you are selected and from here um, suggest you to do the same as, the, as uh, with the first camera we did one, two, three, four Okay, four times we are uh, entering with the cylinder. Okay, now maybe before uh, bring it outside. Okay, um, right click on the object on from this side and catch this square. Okay, click on extrude and tap once on one of those uh, cubes. I want to create something like a frame to it, okay? So make sure you do the same. Okay, tap on F8, and now we will uh, get back to bring it inside. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then catch the iPhone, catch the camera eye, and uh, maybe. Um, duplicate it before okay make another copy and then catch the iPhone and it and just one moment you know what I have some 
delay on thinking uh, it's not much uh, smoother so just add more subdivision axis okay to it and then create the copy now I just want to see that nothing uh, went wrong with the face over here and as you see it does so I will need to create this frame again like so tap on F8 also um, create copy of this one because the other one uh, you won't get the frame on it so sorry uh, one two three four yeah select the iPhone shift select cylinder go over mesh booleans and difference okay so this is what I wanted to get uh, now I can pick those um, faces over here you see and I can like extrude them out so they will be the little frame that we have uh, tap on F8 now you can right click while holding uh, hold down the shift right click and choose insert edge loops okay you know what don't do it um, let's do it in other way shift select edge let's choose this edge uh, hold down the control okay the control button right click and edge to ring again edge to ring utilities to edge ring and split there are two menus appears when I'm touching the edge ring utilities so pay attention again edge ring utilities to edge ring and split and that will create a ha nice half cut of those in the middle of those these faces okay uh, again catch this edge hold down the shift right click edge to ring utilities to edge ring and split and again here so now the, all the pieces are equal and we can work with them okay shift select the second one extrude it with using the blue arrow inside like so um, let's see okay so we're going to do it only with one of them and that's it um, tap on F8 now we will take this one and we are going to make it very small um, you see when I use the middle uh, cube it's still um, uh, skipping on the center so um, this way you, you know that you are uh, actually okay with it and you don't lose the the same height um, as for this camera now should create uh, the same thing but a little bit uh, less deeper but also because we make the made this piece like smaller so it's not at the same size as this so you can enter four times inside catch the iPhone shift select this and booleans difference okay now we have a problem so let's try this again maybe I will bring it less inside mesh booleans difference okay we have some issues here um, let's maybe delete all by type history or maybe you know what let's create a new cylinder and that's it uh, let's rotate it 90 degrees bring it up here 
make it smaller, maybe bring it outside. Okay. Sometimes duplicated items are not acting the same as uh, the original uh, objects. Okay, so um, it's worth to give it a shot and try to create another one and not messing up with the duplicated ones. Uh, okay, now. I also have a problem where I didn't create the frame which I need, so choose this face, extrude it, uh, make sure you see what you do, okay, okay, tap on F8, let's move it inside, one, two, three, four, okay, select the iPhone, shift select, Okay, you see this is why I'm saying that sometimes it's better just to create a new one. Okay, choose those, extrude them outside like so, and tap on F8. So now um, we almost there. As you can see, we lost the upper face. <laughs> which I'm not sure if it's really there or not, so um, I'm gonna try to see if it's there uh, by using mental ray engine don't worry about the settings, I will um, use them later on I'll show you how to set them okay, so you can see that the face is still here not sure what the reason for it not being here, but this is uh, how Maya react to too much Boolean's um, functions you add. Okay, so that's it for the fifth part tutorial. Um, as always, I hope that this one was easy for you, and we'll see you at the next part where we will add the last detail, uh, which is the SIM card slot here. Okay, and then we will uh, create the texture for it and also the, the screen and hopefully we will finish with this model. Um, okay, so bye for now and have a nice day. See ya.